got a minute. Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under a minute using odds and ends from around the house. Today, it's my turn to make. And it's my turn to time. And this is all you're going to need. Oh, a nice little selection of things there. Now, we're not going to tell you what it is, so see if you can guess as we go along. Are you ready? I think so, and I think I'm going to have a right ball with this, oh, make. sounds like a clue. It is. Uh, are you ready for me to spoon-feed you the instructions? Go on, then. Three, two, one. Take it away. OK, you need a big rectangle of card like this and a small square of card as well Five as a wooden already. skewer. Now, I'm going to get some sticky tape and just position the skewer on my square of card like that. Okay. Now, you need a strip... 15 seconds have gone. ...of card. It can be any colour, but we're using black. And using some sticky tape, I'm just going to form it into a loop like this. How am I doing for time? You're coming up to half a minute. 25 Ooh. seconds have gone. With more sticky tape, you then fix the loop onto the square. That's half a minute left. In place like that. And now, using some sticky tack, I'm going to place that at the one end of the rectangle of card and then attach the whole thing 20 in seconds to go, Tim. Like this. And now I need to take my spoon and... Stop the clock. Oh, 47 seconds. Nice work. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what, I need to add a few finishing touches, actually, with my pen. Uh, one. Line. Another line. Three. Hmm. Four. <laughs> and five. And now I'm just going to quickly put on some numbers as well. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. And well, forty. And uh... now... You're pretty much ready to play. Looks like basketball for ants. Do you know what? You're not far <laughs> off. Uh, it is basketball, but it's not any old sort of basketball. It's fingertips, spoon basketball. What? Fingertips, spoon basketball, of oh, course. Oh, I've heard it all now. All right, you've got the basket, <laughs> granted. Mm -hmm. Where's the ball? Ah, well, that's where this square of tin foil comes in. All you've got to do oh, that was cool. is scramble that up into a neat little ball, he says. <laughs> <laughs> like this. That's all right. And then you've got to check that it fits through your net, like that. Perfect. Now you simply place it on the end of your spoon, and you can put the spoon on the on the court. And of course, the further back you go, the more points you get. So 10, 20, 30, or 40 I'm going to go for from here. Ready? Ooh. One, two, three, and fire. Oh, nice. Right in. Well done. Fantastic. Can I have a go? I take back everything I said. It looks quite good. Yeah, go for it. Take it away. All right. But I won't be as good as you. There you <laughs> go. Oh, Ooh. that was pretty close. Off Can I use any? Yeah, some more balls here. Oh, oh, a bit hard that time. Hard. Third time lucky. Oh, yes! Well done, <laughs> you. There you go. And of course, if you've got more than a minute, then you can get really elaborate with your designs and do some a bit more like these. They're really great. Uh, on this one, we've gone for a really realistic net effect, just using some pen. And we've put some felt on the court to make it nice and soft. Or what about this girly one that I think you're like, Naomi? I love that. We've it's got sparkly. some fake fur around the outside and some glitter on the court. And we've even gone for this. Jeweled spoon. Ooh la la. How about that? And of course, you can personalise the backboards in any way you like. So why not pick up a stopwatch and some odds and ends from around the house and see if you can net a game of fingertips spoon basketball in under a minute.